When most people think of space exploration, they picture dramatic scenes, spacecraft blazing through the atmosphere, heat shields glowing red hot as they protect precious cargo from the fury of re-entry. These moments are undeniably thrilling, but they're only part of the story. For SpaceX's lunar starship, the real test comes not in the fire, but in the silence, when the landing legs must perform flawlessly on the moon's surface. Picture a skyscraper, nearly 50 meters tall, attempting to land upright on a world where the ground is unpredictable, covered in dust, rocks, and craters. The landing legs must not only support the starship's immense weight, but also adapt instantly to whatever the moon throws at them, craters, boulders, steep slopes, or loose regolith. Achieving a stable landing is absolutely critical. If the lander were to tip, it could mean disaster, stranding astronauts far from home, with no hope of rescue. These landing legs are the unsung heroes of lunar exploration. They quietly shoulder the responsibility of the entire mission, carrying not just the weight of the spacecraft, but the hopes and lives of the crew. To succeed, the legs must be both incredibly strong and remarkably light. They need to deploy with absolute precision after a journey of nearly 400,000 kilometers through the vacuum of space. As the starship descends, the legs perform a delicate, self-adjusting dance, sensing the surface, compensating for uneven ground, and gently settling onto the untouched lunar soil. This is a feat of engineering that goes beyond brute strength. It's about adaptability, finesse, and the ability to ensure stability on a surface that offers no guarantees. In the quiet ballet of the landing legs, the true drama of lunar landings unfolds, not with noise, but with precision and grace. In spaceflight, the most profound challenges often reveal themselves in the final, silent moments when everything depends on the smallest details. The landing legs are a testament to the complexity, ingenuity, and quiet heroism at the heart of space exploration. SpaceX's Falcon 9 landings are a marvel, showcasing the pinnacle of modern engineering and precision. But the moon presents a different challenge, one that is far more complex and demanding. The lunar starship must land with its crew, life support systems, and return fuel making it significantly heavier than the Falcon 9. Unlike Falcon 9's controlled environments, the moon's surface is unpredictable and treacherous. The landing system must autonomously adapt to soft dust, hidden rocks, and uneven slopes, all while ensuring the safety of its crew. Falcon 9's legs are simple and passive, designed for flat surfaces and predictable conditions. The HLS Starship's legs, however, must be active and adaptive, adjusting in real time to ensure stability on the moon's rugged terrain. It's like comparing a gymnast landing on a mat to a mountaineer finding a secure foothold on a cliffside. The moon's untamed wilderness demands a more sophisticated and robust landing approach. The skills honed on Earth while invaluable don't directly transfer to the lunar environment's unique challenges. The HLS Starship's legs represent a leap in engineering, designed to ensure a safe and stable lunar landing. The moon's challenges require a new level of precision, adaptability, and innovation, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. SpaceX's design philosophy, led by Elon Musk, champions radical simplification. Early concepts for lunar starship landings were minimalist, even proposing no landing legs. One idea involved a pre-built landing mount, eliminating the need for legs. Another concept was a horizontal landing, using forward flaps as feet. NASA, however, prioritizes crew safety and mission assurance. The legless landing was rejected due to dependency on a prior mission's success. The horizontal landing posed risks in dynamics and vehicle stress. NASA's emphasis on safety led to the rejection of these radical ideas. The lunar lander must be self-sufficient and robust, capable of landing safely. Innovation is welcome but not at the expense of safety principles. SpaceX had to balance innovation with NASA's stringent requirements. The result is a design that meets both innovation and safety standards. SpaceX embraced a robust design with six articulated legs for the lunar starship. This configuration offers a wider, more stable base than Falcon 9's four-legged design. Each leg is engineered for active terrain compensation, adjusting to the lunar surface. Sensors map the landing zone, allowing legs to adapt to rocks and craters. The active system transforms landing into an intelligent process. Shock absorbers dissipate touchdown energy, preventing uneven settling. The six-legged design provides redundancy and safety for human-rated missions. This engineering challenge is crucial for survival on the moon. SpaceX is turning blueprints into reality for the lunar mission. At Starbase, future starships are being constructed, 
focusing on Artemis-specific hardware, landing legs undergo rigorous earth trials to simulate lunar stresses, Raptor engines are refined for the final descent burn. In-space refueling technology is crucial for a fully loaded lunar starship. Orbital flight tests will demonstrate this capability. The crew cabin is designed for life support, control interfaces, and docking. Two pivotal milestones, an uncrewed lunar demo and Artemis III. The demo will prove systems in the lunar environment. Artemis III will see astronauts step onto the moon, a historic mission. SpaceX proposes a direct launch for Artemis, aiming to simplify the mission and streamline operations. Astronauts would launch inside the HLS Starship, completely eliminating the need for SLS and Orion rockets. This approach reduces critical steps, making the mission both simpler and significantly faster to execute. However, it introduces the crucial need for a robust launch abort system. Starship must act as its own lifeboat, using its powerful Raptor engines for emergency escape. This capability has never been demonstrated on this scale in human spaceflight. Developing this system to NASA's rigorous safety standards is a monumental and complex task. The direct launch dream truly hinges on overcoming this immense engineering challenge. Elon Musk's vision for humanity's future in space has always been bold, but it's also evolved. While Mars remains the ultimate destination, Musk now sees the moon as a critical stepping stone, a proving ground that can shape the path to the red planet. The moon, once considered a mere milestone of the past, is now central to SpaceX's ambitions. The moon is now seen as a vital proving ground for deep space exploration. Its proximity to Earth makes it the perfect laboratory for testing the technologies and strategies needed for longer missions. Here, astronauts can learn to adapt to harsh environments, troubleshoot unexpected problems, and develop the skills required for survival far from home. Landing, building habitats and resource extraction on the moon are crucial rehearsals. These activities allow us to practice constructing shelters, mining resources like water ice, and using local materials to support life, skills that will be essential on Mars, where resupply from Earth is impossible. The HLS Starship's immense volume and versatility make it more than just a lander. It could serve as a temporary lunar habitat, a mobile laboratory, and a base of operations for extended missions on the Moon's surface. A lunar base could test technologies needed for Mars, from advanced life support systems to in-situ resource utilization. By experimenting with recycling air and water, growing food, and generating power on the Moon, we can refine the systems that will keep astronauts alive on Mars. The Moon is recontextualized as part of the path to Mars. It's not just a destination, but a launch pad, a place where we can stage missions, refuel spacecraft, and prepare for the immense journey across the solar system. Returning to the Moon with Starship builds a launch pad for the solar system. The lower gravity makes launching to Mars more efficient, and the experience gained will be invaluable for future explorers. On the Moon, we learn to live beyond Earth, preparing for Mars and even more distant worlds. Every experiment, every drill, and every challenge overcome on the lunar surface brings us one step closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. The Moon is where we learn to walk, so humanity can run to Mars. It's the training ground for the next giant leap, where we build the confidence, knowledge and resilience needed for interplanetary travel. Musk's vision now fully embraces the moon as an essential part of space exploration. It's no longer a side quest, but a key waypoint on the journey to Mars and beyond. The moon is no longer a detour but a crucial part of the journey to Mars, a place where humanity's future among the stars truly begins.